Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What is going on guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to create this really, really cool character introduction effect in Vegas Pro because this is actually an idea that I came up with when we were shooting outside, when we're taking pictures. So as you can see right now, we have a clip of me on a garage. This actually is looking really, really cinematic if you apply some LUT filters over it. So I thought like, why not freeze this image, make the background a different color, let ourselves actually Actually like you know zoom in a little bit with an outline and then what you can do is add in some text or like this paint wipe with your name in it so it looks like it's you know being introduced for example like a series so I'm really excited to show you guys this effect so make sure to subscribe down below if you're watching for the very first time and also hit the like button down below if you're excited for this effect I would say let's start creating this effect right after the intro All right, guys, so as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 18 with this clip with that it was shot on a black magic camera. And of course, if I wanted to drag in the footage from the camera to Vegas Pro, the file is B-RAW, meaning that it's a format by black magic that Vegas Pro cannot read. So how did I get this shot in there? Well, at first I had to export it in Premiere Pro from B-RAW to MP4 and then drag it in. So if you guys are watching this and if you would like to send this one to Magic's uh, if you want to just tweet this link and just mention them on Twitter, like, would it be possible, for example, in Vegas Pro 19, that B-Raw can be read, of course, in Vegas Pro 18. I think that's some kind of license thingy they need to take care of with Black Magic, of course. Maybe that costs like, quite a lot of money to get that codec or something like that. But it would be really, really helpful if you could actually import B-Raw footage into Vegas Pro with also video. If I just drag in this one straight from the SD card into Vegas Pro, we only have audio. And that way we can skip the exporting process from Premiere Pro from B-RAW to MP4 before we can even use it in Vegas. So that's also something very handy if people don't have Premiere Pro or After Effects or something like that. So with that all the way, this is basically the shot that I have right now. So of course my cameraman was assisting like do a couple steps back as you can see right here where I have to just position real quick because I'm just want to have this, you know, picture that I was walking into the camera with like this standing still image because if I'm gonna make a walking shot I don't really like to stand still while taking a photo because that just looks unnatural you know in my eyes and always doesn't look natural when I take a photo like that what I just prefer is just to walk like maybe like you know five feet or something just to get that shot and then just take a still image from that clip in our project so when I go back right here I'm just gonna make sure to trim it down from the point where I'm gonna start walking again make sure to get rid of these black bars and also get this one in the position I'm really really far off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drag this one up so that I'm in the middle of the screen and make sure that my X right here is on zero so that it is nice and centered like that. Okay, so let's play it black right now and let's just see where we want to have that pause. Okay, I'm going a little bit out of the screen, so I'm going to resize this guy again just a little bit. All right, so when I look into the camera, which is right here, as you can see, I'm turning my head slowly. I'm going to go frame by frame, use my arrow keys to go a little bit further and get that perfect still. This is the one that we want to use. So first of all, we're going to press S on our keyboard. So we always, you know, can go back for, let's say that we click, so for example, right here, and this was uncut. We don't really know where it is. So click on there so we will have the shot. Next thing you want to do is you want to click on save snapshot to file. So we have this one as a photo and just call this for example walking still and save that somewhere easy to find for example on your desktop okay now the first thing that i would actually do is i would go ahead and mask myself out completely so i would just go and click on this event pan crop icon and then what i want to do is i'm just going to hit a mask at the very bottom and i'm just going to start masking myself out i'm just going to go all the way across my leg my arm around my head my neck my shoulders my arm again back to my legs just make sure that everything is cut out and then you can just start manually masking
Okay, so now that I'm at the final point, I'm going to cl click on here. And as you can see right now, we're nice and mask. Now, of course, what we can do is zoom in and we can actually adjust these keyframes. So right here, I went off a little bit off with my shirt. So if I double click on it, I can just hold left control and I can just drag this guy inside and out. You will also see that on the preview. So that's a very cool thing that you can just manually adjust these ones. So it looks actually the absolute accurate. And of course, I did this one really, really quick because otherwise that time lapse is going to take like minutes and you guys are not even like interested in seeing like such a long time lapse. So this is just to show you guys how it's done. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit to my hair as well. Bring that guy up just a little bit. So now that I masked myself out pretty, pretty accurately, what we need to do is we're going to actually copy this one. So we're going to hit U on our keyboard. That will actually separate this clip from our audio underneath it. Or you can just remove the audio completely because we're not going to use any of that. That's just only the half of the process. So now what we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to hit copy press control V or right click and hit paste right here. And then we're going to place that guy underneath it. So we have two exact same masks underneath each other. But of course, the track diff was a little bit different. So I'm just going to duplicate this track. That's a little bit easier. Okay, so now that we also have the one below it, we're going to go to the event pan crop icon and we're going to right click and we're going to hit reset mask. So we will actually see that we will have one full background and one where I'm completely masked out as you can see like that if I place my marker on here. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure that I don't keep walking in the shot underneath it right here because if I play it back I'm just going to keep walking so we need to make sure that it will stop so how we do that is we're going to right click and we're going to hit insert slash remove envelope and we're going to hit velocity right click on that green dot you want to click to set to and the percentage is going to be zero so as you can see if I play it back right now it is going to stop the second one still keeps walking we have to do exactly the same we're going to right click insert or slash remove envelope hit velocity right click on that green dot right here and then we want to click on set to and we're going to also put that one to zero so both the background and our image will stay still okay so now the thing is that we can give this background for example a different color so let's say that we're going to keep this cinematic and not like a really really bright pink or a yellow color you can do that if that's something that fits your video and your theme but i'm just going to put a lot filter underneath it so i'm going to go to the video effects tab and i'm going to pick a lot which is right here and i'm going to drag in filter 9 underneath it as you can see let's go ahead and browse a little bit through the clips right here as you can see i think this one looks actually pretty pretty cinematic now the thing is that i would actually recommend using like a steady color because the difference is going to be way way bigger let's say that your video is already graded in some sort of way you still have to use a different color so you can also use lots but i'm going to for the purpose of this video i'm going to hit color corrector the main one drag that onto the bottom one and you can make this for example a blue background that looks really nice what i would do is i would actually add in a lot of contrast into this entire top track so i'm going to go to a default i'm going to drag it onto the track of the top one where we have our mask on and i'm just going to increase the contrast quite a bit because that black magic footage was a little bit plain because it was not graded yet this is what we created so far but now what we need to do is we need to make this guy zoom in just a little bit we're going to click on the event pan crop icon we're going to go to position we need to make a keyframe which is going to be for example halfway and then we can start zooming in for example like that so let's see what it looks like going a little bit too fast so i'm going to drag this keyframe further so it's going to be slower that looks really really cool but i'm going to also make this you know go down a little bit just like that as you can see, that looks really, really cool. But I'm just going to optimize this just a little bit. Just like that, I'm going to make sure that the end position is accurate. For example, like this. I'm going to also make this still a little bit longer. So it's not going to zoom as quick as you can see, but that's actually usable. So that depends, of course, on how you want to mask it. So the next thing that we can do is make an animation. So what I would recommend for that is go to Google and pick, for example, like this paint or whatever, you know, like PNG of this paint wipe. That looks really, really nice. So I'm going to also look for that on Google real quick. Okay, so as you can see, this is the paint wipe. So I'm going to also shrink this down with the track motion icon. I'm going to position this into place without using the sync cursor icon checked because otherwise it's going to also have a fade so i'm going to also drag this one a little bit to the left which is right here and what we can also do is we can place this guy below the mask if we have for example our paint splash on the very top track we can drag the, that in between so it jumps behind me it looks really really tight i'm going to also make it just a little bit you know different in position i'm going to also place it like that and also a little bit bigger as well i think that one looks really really cool now we can also add in a transition to this clip so let's say that you want to have for example like this paint wipe we're going to go 
to the transitions tab, we're gonna go all the way down to slide, and then we're gonna pick, for example, this one that's coming from the side, and we're gonna also make just a little crossfade onto that paint wipe, drag that transition on there, and let's see what it looks like. As you can see, and the only thing what we need to do right now is go to the Media Generators tab and you want to click, for example, on the titles and text, drag on the default on top of the track, and you want to type in, you know, the name of the character. In my case, it's going to be Alex. So I'm going to type that in. I'm going to make sure that it's also nice and customized. So I'm going to place that in there. I'm going to resize it just a little bit. I'm going to change the font because the standard one is a little bit too boring. So I'm going to, for example, pick, let's say, something that fits the video. I think this one looks very, very accurate. Now I'm going to also add in a little bit of an outline, as you can see, but not in white. I'm going to make that outline, for example, like dark. And I'm going to also make that one black. Okay, now I'm going to also add in a little bit of a shadow, just for detail, as you can see, like that. So now that looks really, really cool. We can also add in the same transition, but a little bit later and a little bit quicker. So we're going to make this transition half the length of the slide transition. Also pick this transition, drag it onto the text, like that and that is basically how to make this really really cool transition of a character introduction so guys that's it for this video thanks a lot for the continued support now you guys know how to create this really really cool character introduction effect you can use this in your series or in your intro so people know who they're watching if this video was helpful to you make sure to award it with a, a like down below so that's all for you guys today and i'll see you guys obviously in the next one